Hi everyone, it's Pam Kinneberg with facepaint.com and today I'm going to be walking you through some basic steps on um, painting a decolletage. Um, I do, I'm going to do a small one on the side and just give you some pointers on how you can create your own. The first thing I always do is I match their clothing. So you see here I've used the purple and the magentas and I went from there. Second thing is put down some basic um, strokes just to give you a pattern. I'm using the Orchid from Craze and the 3 4 inch flat brush. And I'm just going to lay down some background color. My strokes are going in a um, oh, in a motion that kind of goes from the center and flows beautifully up to the shoulder. And you can do any strokes you want here. I'm just um, I'm just using my flat brush to create some curved strokes that all sort of come to a, uh, a, get a point in the shoulder. And this will just give you a guide to where your line work is going to go. The next thing, I add a stencil. Find a really pretty stencil, if, if pretty is what you're looking for. These, um, these stencils are the Frisbee Sense stencils and they have a variety of beautiful designs and so I'm using the one called Crown Swirl. And I'm using a flat kabuki brush with magenta from Craze and I'm just um, brushing over the stencil. Make sure you don't have too much paint on there and it creates a beautiful little um, design. This is a super quick way to um, build one of these um, beautiful designs. The next thing is to add some line work and um, you can just be, simply add some long teardrops like I'm doing right now and once you've added those you can create um, you can create some crossover lines or you can leave them as is. It's up to you. And they're just kind of crossing over that bottom line, creating a little bit of a swirl. It gives some character and some fun um, uh, movement to those lines. And I'm also going to bring in some of that magenta that I've used in my stencil just to give it some consistency and color so that I'm using some of that color throughout the design. And again, super simple line work here. Don't overdo the line work. I'm also going to add some white, which gives it contrast and a pop of color um, to the overall look and feel. And again, just working from off of those points of those teardrops, you can create little swirls. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glitter and you know, everybody likes glitter and I'm using the Vivid um, glitter glue right here and I'm just going to put um, some glue on the areas that I want my glitter to go on. Then I'm just taking a small flat brush that I have and um, applying, I'm picking up some of the glue from the glue that I applied on the skin and then I pick up my glitter with that on the brush and um, just kind of move it into place there and once you've kind of got it where you want it you can just kind of brush off the excess and there you have it a beautiful um, design any lady would love this so happy painting